All right, guys, what is up? My name is Jordan. Most of you know me as Supernatural001. Um, I was a talisman of, I was a talisman. I was a GM of Talisman of Nelksis for the past few months. Um, now I'm making videos to teach people how to edit on their private servers. Um, today is going to be a, a big video, or at least uh, probably the next, probably at least two, maybe three videos uh, will be all related to this, what we're talking about. Um, it's going to be on how to create a new map, and what I mean, what I mean, what I mean by new map is a new cave or a new area. Um, there is a bunch of files that go into making a new map. Um, now, what I mean by I'm teaching you how to make it is not that like we're going to make them from scratch, but if you have the files or if you have a client that has the files, we can make the map. You don't need a game server side of files. For, to make a new map, you just need the client side. You just need to make sure that they are unencrypted. If they are unencrypted, or if they are encrypted, you need to decrypt them if you can. If even one of the files is encrypted and the rest are unencrypted, it won't work. Most likely, you will be able to enter the map, but then it will be an unknown area. That's what the name will be, and then the map will be bugged, and you'll be in a, a spot where you can't move or see your character or anything. You would have to use like a guild token to leave that 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 map that map. So you want to make sure that all of the files are either unencrypted or decrypted. So the example I'm going to be using today is going to be Lunar Cave. It's a is an actual uh, map. It's another world. Um, I'm gonna be using. I got all the files needed for it from my server, and I kind of just put them in their uh, specific folders. So that we can, so that you can physically see, or that you can visually see exactly what files will be needed for 99% of your maps. Um, the only extra things that you might need are some maps have some uh, extra files in actor, or in model actor, or that they have a couple extra. And let me show you real quick. And um, not texture. And scene texture, you'll see like you see FB15, FB04, scene texture, some maps have some there. And in scene actor, outside of the actual uh, folder relevant to the map, like uh, SC007, which is age or territory. So some have some more, these are EVA, so these are visuals. So you, if, you, if you got a client that has a map and you want to try to copy it, uh, what I would say is search each of these folders for the map name because you'll probably find some extra files that aren't the normal ones, which just reminded me that I also need to get uh, the, these files from the these files. So let me copy those real quick and I'll throw them. And uh, da 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 da. Where's my little example system, new areas, lunar cave, local common table, boom. All right, so all of these files I've explained before, these are these are just basically uh, specify where they will, where you'll be reborn when you die. Uh, NPC assign refers to the location. It specifies what file. Uh, will be determined to uh, the will determine the location if it's this one or if it's the script. And for Lunar Cave, it's going to be a script which determines the NPC locations. Um, area PK determines what areas are green and red. So we will start with copying those, and then we will go into the specific files. So, and I mind you, I have none of these files in my game server. So we are going to be making it from scratch, and if we get any errors, we're going to see will cause the errors. So, oops, let me copy this one too. And then also make sure, uh, not you don't need this, but these reborn and all these files need to be in your client and your game server side folder. Um, but I'll copy all those after I, at, at the end, everything. So let's start from the beginning. Let's create the scene. So uh, we pull it up here. I have it already 
like copied in what exactly what I need just for this specific map. So once again, it's going to be two files from the map folder, which we'll do after we get through the local folder. The table NPC assignment we already did, the table folder we did, reborn area, area PK we already did. But we got to copy this line. Let me copy. Then we're going to put it into our game server side scenes file, which I haven't edited before. So we got to search it real quick. So we're going to open it up. And this scene ID for Lunar Cave is 41. 41. So we're going to make sure that things map up to that. And you just reminded me that I forgot the map zones, which I guess I'll do after that. All right, let me. Shit, let me get the map zone real quick. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I thought I was prepared. Stuff like this is why these videos are extra long. So map zone. Map zone. I think uh, Lunar Cave only has one map zone. Yeah, just this one right here. So it's all just one area. So let me actually I to make a copy of that. Let me copy that there. I will continue this video once I get this done real quick. All right, we are back. So we got the map zone. We're going to copy this line real quick. And then we're going to put it into our game server side, which I just saw. Oh, I guess I already copy that over there. Okay, and then we are going to go into... Uh, so we did scenes, so we'll make the NPCs next. The NPCs, the only ones that we're going to make for this uh, video will be the teleporters. So one teleport from stone to lunar cave and the other one from lunar cave to stone. And I will explain a couple things that are uh, in this NPC file. Okay, so in here, uh, the, the two things is because it's a teleporter, we're going to make sure that we have in the function column that it does traffic. Um, ask is if I have it there just because I gave them quest to my server. MVC top, uh, I only have one of these. Um, these aren't necessary because we have uh, actual teleport lines that we made. But if you didn't have teleport lines, you could figure these little talk files to determine where they're going to teleport. Um, but we're going to be where you're going to be using the traffic lines, so 115 and 116. So let me real quick make the reverse, and then we'll get into the teleport. Let me see rebirth. And if you got these already, if you, if it's easy to make a new map, if you have everything decrypted, you just got to make sure that you don't miss something. Um, so we did a rebirth real quick. We're going to do the model as well. So this is just the, the visual of the teleporter NPC. Copy. Go into model real quick. And for some reason it doesn't show the little, uh, recording bar at the top of my screen, so I gotta actually click it and look. Make sure I don't got this already. Oh, it already does have that, so I guess you don't need a copy yet. I'm gonna make sure it's the exact same thing still. So. Okay, it is. So, I, yeah. Most, I guess, clients already come with this, so you don't even need to edit the model if you didn't want to. Uh, so, 115 and 116. So, we go to the traffic lines here. Maybe I want a traffic station first. Okay, yeah, I want a traffic station first. So we go to traffic station here. We got the two lines. Uh, one's going to go from one traffic line is for Stone City to Lunar Cave. The other one's going to be for. But this, okay, so this is the actual teleport of, of Stone City. This will be the actual teleport of Lunar Cave. And the traffic line is the same. Uh, it's going to go from Stone City to Lunar Cave, and then Lunar Cave to Stone City. So let's copy, what are we, we'll copy these traffic lines real quick. Traffic lines.
Tap, tapping lines. And I guess I'll adjust this so that it's in order, which doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. It's just in the file. And I'm going to copy the traffic station. So your traffic line, traffic station, the MPC, MPC rebirth model. Copied all the little specific uh, of these. We did the map zone. The only thing left would be uh, I'll copy this talk over just in case. I have this one. This one I don't have in my client, but I never needed it. So I think I'll just copy this this talk over just to, just to have it. I don't think it's necessary. So that's going to be in common talk. Good thing for maps, you don't need to edit the Mars folder or anything, it's just the common folder. So I guess that it already comes with that anyway, so I guess you don't even need that. Um, what are, oh yeah, that was just, nope, so nothing there. So now we're going to go into maps, and we need to copy the map folder. Boom. Maps you're going to do in game server side and your client side folders. Model you're going to need for the uh, and the client side you're going to need for the, the visual of the MPC teleport MPC, which I'm assuming yep, we already have, but I'll copy it anyway just because uh, the the UI texture, but so the icon of the MPC as well, but we already have it. I know the script will copy over. Um, I'm going to edit it real quick because it has one NPC, but we're not going to put any. I'll just log in. Once I get it up, I'll show you the map, but I'm not going to put any NPCs there. But I'll explain how you would uh, create uh, NPCs through the script. Uh, and then scene is in the client side. There's a couple things. One will be the folder and actor. And then there will be the mini map and scene texture mini map and then the, the, the script model map we're, we're done except one thing in game server side and a client server game yep you're going to add a line here for every new world as i explained already before every new world like world four, which is like JC, and then any other any new map, not K, but actual new area or new world, you gotta throw in a line here. So you would do if you had another one after this, load four, load five, whatever, and then parent and then this uh apostrophes, you just put in the name of the file. SFB 027. I think it's SFB, yeah it is. And then save. And we are done. So I'm gonna copy these all over to my client side. And then I'm going to show you as I upload it in the host. And we'll see if we get any errors. I don't think we will. Because I'm 99% sure all these are decrypted as I took them from my own server files. So I shouldn't have any issues. But we will see. All right, we are back. So we are going to copy this over into our game server uh, and the host and the server folder. Delete the PID, delete the OD, EVP. I don't like copying because sometimes it just glitches up. Um, so one thing I didn't explain before, when you uh, want to shut down your server, you uh, press Control C and you'll do this little carrot C symbol. This way, instead of closing it out, this way when you when it counts down to zero, it's going to save everything. So if you would just close it down, just like when your server DCs randomly, there's a chance that uh, your server won't save anything that's been done since the last uh, successful close of your server. So when I say successful, I mean it's control C. We're going to call this the, the successful shutdown of your of your server. When your server randomly deceives or if you just close the game server, the game uh, terminal out, there's a chance that your server won't be backed up and it's going to reload next time at the last successful server close. So you see right here, saving user data, don't shut down server app. When your um, server randomly deceives, it shuts it down. And, uh, and there's a chance that it doesn't save. Not always, but for my server, I've noticed a couple times where it done that and it does, and then it rolls back. So you just want to make sure that you control C it to close it down properly. So let's see. All right, good sign, good sign. 
Ah, something went wrong. Scene SFV027. So I think it's SBF, maybe. I think I typed it wrong every time. I think I typed it wrong. I think it's SBF, isn't it? Isn't it? SBF. No, that's right. Where are we at? SFV027. SFB 027. Seen and it failed. So let's see. It doesn't give me anything else. So I will look at this is usually a, the common error that people get when you try to load a new map. So we'll see everything that involved the actual scene. So we'll go to the scenes folder. 41, 41, 41, Lunar Cave. We copied all the tables. We copied the two map folders. Uh 41. We will double check that we have the maps in here. I will make sure real quick that it's not okay. Yeah, so it's how you know if your cert your 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 these folders are always gonna look like this. Even if right now it's this is the de decrypted version. If it was encrypted, it would only show this black shit. So if you see the actual words, that's how you know it's uh, decrypted or not encrypted. So I know that's not the cause. So real quick, let me check here again. Did I type it wrong? Load three SFV 027. Um, see if I got any other errors. Scene maps. Ah, so the one thing I can think of is that I am missing a I'm missing some files from the scene folder. Like I said, some some uh, things have extra um, extra little files. So real quick, what I'm going to do? Let me. Um, well, no, because that wouldn't matter because this is in the client. So we're only looking. We're only worried about the game server side right now. So I got that. I got NBC traffic model. I got the rebirths. I got the scenes. Where's the map zone? Aha, where is the map zone? Map zone shows. Oh yeah, but I did copy this over. Oh, I'm an idiot. I saw 41 and I thought, oh, it's there. And I, I at first I thought like, why is it there? I, I didn't even, I never edited this before. Yeah, that makes sense. Duh, so that's why it failed. 99% sure that's why it failed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our where we got everything. We're gonna go to Lunar. Table, open up map zone real quick. See, this is scene ID, that's why. Yep. That makes I was like, bro, there's no way. I know nothing's encrypted, so I'm not sure what else would be the cause. That makes sense though, so we're gonna. So either I gotta throw this right there. Yeah. Hold up. Wait, that is that is right. What the shit? Wait up, what the shit? See now now I'm stumbled. Yeah, that's right. But it says continent one. Hold up, hold up. What I think was I saw 41 and I didn't look at the continent. I saw 41 and because it's a normal ID. So real quick, we'll get we'll confirm that right here. So let me close this out. Let's open up. So we were just looking at like the line I the line ID pretty much, not the specific scene ID in it. So if we go right here, we want to look in this line for 41. There is none. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Give me a second. I'm going to check real quick because I'm like, I'm, I'm going brain dead right now. So just give me a moment. 